Hello, this is Casual Commodore 64 and I'm back with another hardware video. There's not been too many of those, so it's nice. Finally there is another one. Um, I've decided to change the case that my Commodore 64 is in from this nice white case to a transparent case. And uh, I'm just now showing you what the white case looks like. It looks pretty nice and the dark keyboard complements the white case very well. And I put in this uh, blue LED instead of the default red one because blue is cool. And it looks very nice on the white case. I wonder what it looks like in this transparent case. So this is the case I'm gonna put it in. Had a little trouble because of a little freaking piece of tape. Um, I hope the keyboard will look nice in this case as well. I'm, uh, I'm a little worried about that, but I'll see how it looks like. Um, there are a few things here. This is the stickers and some screws to hold the case together. You can see the stickers here in close up. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna pick. And, uh, and they, these rubber feet, only two is needed for, for the front or the back, I don't remember. See them in close up here. Oh, and this uh, uh, little wire for the blue LED. The blue LED was too bright, so I put this clock meter on it. Uh, 10K, I think. Uh, I was not too sure of the value, so <laughs> I bought a pot meter instead. All right, she's all stripped down and ready for the new clothes. Who doesn't love a sexy lady in transparent clothes, huh? <laughs> and she's all almost done. Uh, I'm a little worried about uh, that uh, that pot meter lump. What's that? What that's gonna look like in the transparent case? I really should replace it with uh, with a fixed resistor. I guess I'm going to do that at a later time. So here she is, all dressed up and ready to go. It looks very nice actually. It looks, uh, the, the black keyboard works well, better than I feared. So that's a good thing. I'm just now showing you what she looks like all around. The transparent case, it looks like the plastic is bending up in the corner, but I really can't get it to fit any better. So I suppose it's supposed to be like that. It's also that in that end, as you can see. So I don't know. And that lump, you can see it. It's it's visible from the back pretty clearly. And uh, oh, it's not it's not it's not ideal, but from the front it's not that visible. So. But I really, I will, I will put a fixed resistor on it at some later time. This is just so you can see what it looks like from underneath. Not that, that's the view you'll often see. So a few things are missing now. The rubber feet. And here we go. So one last thing, so I have chosen the sticker now. And I chose the one with all the pretty colors. So I think the result is, is pretty neat. If you like this video, please consider helping my channel by leaving a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.